Hey everyone, it's Julie, Kansas City girl in a Colorado world, and this is floss tube number 32. Today is Monday, November 26th. Um, <laughs> here comes Lincoln. He was Lincoln. Hello. Lincoln would like to say hi. Yeah, you guys always get that angle of him because as soon as I start talking, he runs in here <laughs> and then um, tries to give me some kisses and then he leaves um, and shows you the back of his head most of the time. So anyway, um, welcome back. If you're coming back, if you're new, uh, welcome. I have had a little bit of a bump lately in subscribers, um, which brings me to some exciting news. I just checked my subscriber number right before I filmed and I am 12, 12 tiny little measly 12 subscribers away from 2000. So, oh, we're so close. We're so close. Um, which is insane by the way, but anyway, so 12, 12 more subscribers and I'm going to hit 2000. Um, and then of course we're going to have to do something special. So, um, stay tuned. And that also reminds me that I totally missed my one year floss tube anniversary. I had a, I had kind of thought about like, I think at like beginning of October, I was like, mm, I think my one year is coming up. And then I kind of forgot and I forgot to go check. And then um, a week or two ago, it kind of hit me like, oh, that's got to be around. It was around this time of year. It had to have been. So I went back and looked. It was October 25th, 2017 that I released my very first video. So it was November when I realized that. So I just missed it. Totally missed it. I don't know. I'm not going to celebrate it now. I just wanted, I guess I just want to tell you guys it's been a, I've been here a year. <laughs> um, mm. So, okay, so a couple, I don't really have a lot of extra stuff to talk about. I'm going to show you all my whips. I'm going to show you, I don't have any finishes. <laughs> I'm going to show you my whips. Um, I have, someone has asked me to do a video of how my stash is stored and organized. Um, most of it's right here behind me, but I did just add two huge bookshelves over here. Um, which is mostly quilting stuff over there, but um, some of my cross stitch stuff too. So I will film and upload that at some point. I just have one little bin of shame here that I need to organize before I do that. <laughs> all my patterns and fabric and all that's organized. This is my catch all bin. It's got all my like weird random silks and fancy floss and they're not in any kind of organization. And it's got all my like extra Q snaps and hoops and beads and it's kind of a hot mess. So got to do that one last thing and then I'll film that. Um, someone also asked for a whip parade. So I'm going to try to do that, but I guarantee you that's not going to be done in one video. That might be two parts, maybe three parts because I have 97 whips. I'm not going to let myself break a hundred. Okay. Um, oh, I wanted to show you guys something. This is not stitchy related, but I know we all love our Ray Dunn mugs. I went to TJ Maxx and I found this one and I was actually really surprised to find this in a Ray Dunn mug, but I was very excited. So, uh, head to TJ Maxx or Marshall's. Maybe you can find one too. If for some reason you all can't read that, it says feminist. And I love it. Best new thing. Okay. So, um, I don't have any new finishes, but I wanted to show you guys, I took down all of my Thanksgiving fall decor yesterday, and I'm going to put up my winter Christmas stuff this week. Um, so I thought before I put in storage, I'll give you one last uh, glimpse at my fall decor, fall cross stitches. I did show you this in the last video, but why not see it again? This is, um, I got it right here. Um, 
hands to work my favorite primitive stitching bags um i did the witch one so this is my quick finish of that this is 36 count lakeside linens vintage light exemplar i believe that's a guess it looks like it anyway to me so there's that so that's going into storage i think i also showed you guys this one last week or not last week last video frosted pumpkin stitchery i love fall it says i love fall most of all called for colors which are just DMC. Uh, oh, it called for one classic color works, fallen leaves, um, fall, and a couple other things are done in that one. This is a cute little easel frame from Michaels. Um, it's on 28 count hand dyed tea, tea and coffee dyed Monaco. Okay, and then not a recent finish. I finished this last year. This is Frosted Pumpkin Stitchery Pumpkin Spice. It says pumpkin spice and everything nice. And uh, this frame was from Hobby Lobby. I hot glued some. Um, what is, what did Deb and Kefren call them? Hoo-haws, I think. Hot glued some hoo-haws on there. That's on um, 32 or 36 count Bo Peep Sheet by Dames of the Needle fabric. All right. So those are my three. Three whole. Jeez. I need some finishes, you guys. Only three. Um, this was a Save the Stitches from the thrift store. Let us give thanks. 1957 it's on linen it looks like a 28 or 32 count to me like a nice like irish linen and it's professionally framed i rescued it for a couple of dollars and i love it all right so those are my um uh, those are my finished things so let's talk whips so, as I was uploading my last video, I pulled out Mirabilia Snow Queen because it was snowing. And I have decided that I will work on this project anytime it snows. And being here in Colorado, that's a lot. Now, the downside is that the snow's usually gone like within a day or two, but it snows a lot here. <laughs> So pulled that out and got a little bit done on it. And I was having so much fun working on it that I worked on it a second day, even though it wasn't snowing, I, I, I couldn't put it down. I felt like I was finally like getting somewhere on it, which was very exciting. I'm stitching this on hand dyed by Stephanie, um, 32 count Polywog Princess and love it. Y'all, she didn't have her Black Friday sale this year. This is what I got from her last year in the Black Friday sale, but I didn't see it this year. Maybe I missed it. Maybe it just flew by me, but didn't see it. So this is the fabric, which is amazing. Um, and here is what I stitched. So I feel like I got a lot done. Uh, because I think all I had done was like the white and like this little strip here. So I did like all of this. And what you see not stitched in the in there is beading. It needs beads. So I think I did a good progress for two days. So I'm, I'm basically stitching right in here. I'm stitching the horse's saddle, or it's not a horse. It's a reindeer, caribou, something. I'm stitching its saddle, basically. Blanket and saddle. I really didn't want to put it up. It was really fun to work on, but I did. I, I put it away, but I'll get it back out soon because we're going to get snow again. So I'm going to Mexico next week. I don't think I told you guys that. Maybe I did. I don't know. 
I'm going to Mexico for a week. I was looking at the weather forecast for next week and it's supposed to snow three times. Now that could change dramatically in the next few days. The weather here is very variable. But as of right now, it's supposed to snow three times while I'm in Mexico. I won't be working on that. I realized I totally skipped haul, you guys. I just went straight into whips. I'm so disorganized. I've got a lot of haul to show you. Um, okay, so then I got back out um, Santa's house, Sal by Tiny Modernist. Another room has come out. Um, this room came out. Uh, I, did, I didn't get very much at all on this one. <sighs> Sad. Um, I think I only worked on it maybe one night, and all I got was this tree. Um, this is hand-dyed 28-count linen, and I love the way these colors are popping on this linen. So this is not gonna get done this year by any stretch of the imagination. I hopped on this salve really late and um, yeah, whatever. I'll work on it when I work on it. Um, then I grabbed uh, my Stiach and got caught up, except for now they released another part. So today's Monday, so on Saturday they released the next part, but I was caught up. So I need to get, um, I need to get that done and they it, it wasn't much it's just a little bit of stitching so I'll, I'll easily catch that back up um so this is my stiach we have no idea what it's gonna be so your guess is as good as mine I just grabbed four DMC very what are they called variations Ver I don't know what I don't remember they're just DM they're four variegated colors DMC I just picked a random piece of fabric, picked a random four colors that looked okay on it, and went to town. Okay, and then it's time for the Dimension Sal that's hosted by Amy DeVille, Amy, um, from who also has the Facebook group The Stitcher's Coven. And it's also hosted by one other person who I am, I'm blanking, I'm blanking on right now. So I finally dug into Aurora Cabin. Oh, that's a glare. Yikes. I've loved this forever. I've owned this for almost two years and never started it because it's a big old project and I was intimidated. And so when the Dimension Sal was announced, I was like, you know, I have no excuse. Here I go. I'm finally going to do it. So I started, I hate, st I hate stitching on Ada. And this is that stiff, stabby Ada. Ugh. But it's full coverage, so it doesn't matter if it's Ada. So this is what I got done. A tree, basically. I mean, it's not even done, <laughs> but... It resembles a tree, okay? I got the tree. That tree is this this guy right here. Okay, so I was really excited about this kit because the fabric comes our or the floss comes already sorted. And there's it calls for a million colors. So I was like, that's fantastic. I'm so excited. It's already sorted. And then I pull it out. Yeah. Nope. Nope. We're still going. Look. Nope. Still going. Still go. Nope. Nope. We're still going. Nope. We're not. We're not there yet. Nope. More. There's more. There's more. I can't even reach all the way up. Still going. What the F dimensions? What is this? What, what is this? What are we doing here? Look at your life. Look at your choices, dimensions. What's happening? What is this? And it's just like, 
loosely like glue it's glued in there like I don't even know what's happening right now so I was all excited that it's sorted for me but this is a hot ass mess okay so I'm trying to like snip off like okay so I needed this color there's one whole strand of it so I had to snip some off and then like what I don't use what do I do with it because like it doesn't go back on so basically I'm gonna end up having to bobinate all this stuff anyway and there's two of these things and then I guess for the colors I use a lot they just gave me like big hanks of those I was I was frustrated I was very frustrated so I've got to get that floss all sorted out before I work on that anymore it's just a just a heads up to any of you all with your dimensions kits okay so I did that and then I was like you know I need to maybe I want to do some Christmas stitching so I like went through my Christmas whips and was kind of looking around and this one caught my eye and I was like you know it's a big piece but there's not that much on it maybe I could bang that out so it's Brenda Gervais keep on the wood and I started this last December and I did not have very much done at all I'm stitching this on 32 count picture this plus Wren And I didn't get a ton done, but I worked on it a little bit more. Mm -hmm. So all I had done, because it was my 12 starts of Christmas, so all I had done literally was like three or four of these white boxes and like two leaves. That's it. So I did all this more. I think I was a little bit ahead of myself when I thought it's not that much stitching I'll just bang that out because it's still a lot more stitching <laughs> but I do like this piece a lot and I actually was having fun stitching on it it was just a I really randomly grabbed it but I was enjoying it so I'm doing all the called for colors which I don't you guys know with Brenda Gervais that means like 9,000 colors and they're like all gentle arts or weeks or classic color works but anyway um, I had bought all the called for colors and let me tell you what happened. It calls for putty, Weeks Dye Works putty, and it calls for Weeks Dye Works sage. Now some of you have seen this on my Instagram. These are the same damn color, y'all. Okay, I know not really, but pretty much they're the same color. These are the same color. And to add insult to injury, they're not going to show up on this fabric very well either. So they're very similar to the color of the fabric. So not only are they the same color, but they're going to blend into the fabric. So I decided I would keep putty, but I would swap sage out. So the words were, were called for sage. I switched that to color and cotton graveyard, which was in my Halloween box. I just thought it's kind of a grayish brownish and I just thought it would work and it is I like the way it's looking on here I'm very annoyed with weeks dye works for that okay and then my final whip this was an impulse total impulse so I was um, Black Friday shopping on Etsy and funny story, this pattern actually wasn't even on sale, but it was so beautiful, I had to get it. <laughs> it was like seven bucks. It was cheap. So it's by a shop called... It's called Nonstop Stitch. It doesn't say that on here. Yes, it does. Nonstop Stitch is the Etsy shop, and she has really cute designs. She has like over 500 designs. They're... I think she's a Russian designer. Um, if not, she has that Russian style, you know, that kind of watercolor realism, but they always make it real cute. Um, and then lots of backstitching to like bring it to life. And um, 
So I saw this pattern and I had to have it. I would love to stitch it for myself, but I was actually inspired to stitch this for my sister for Christmas. So that was a super random buy on Friday, Black Friday, and I started it on Saturday. And I'm gonna keep working on this. I think I'm gonna take it with me to Mexico. Um, this is being stitched on 28 count Zweigert. Um, it, the color is Lavender Bliss. It's a super duper pale. It's almost white. It might look white on here. It's just the barest, barest lilac. And this is how much I got done this weekend, Saturday and Sunday. I feel like I got a ton done. No fun stitching those blocks of white, but I don't know. I feel like I got a lot done. I'm, I'm basically like right here in this white ribbon. I'm excited too, because I'm about to get into some color. Cause right now it's just been a lot of white and gray. So those are my whips. So let me show you my haul. So part of my haul was that Etsy pattern. Oh my God, I went crazy, you guys. I went crazy. I'm just, I'm not even gonna lie. So I also bought cute patterns by Maria Hogwarts in the bank. I have been, almost bought this like a hundred times. And the reason I never actually buy it is because it's actually really big. It's like 150 by 230 or something. And so every time I'm almost ready to buy it, I'm like, oh, it's this huge and it's full coverage. Blah. But I just love it so much. I finally just bought it. Um, it was on sale for Black Friday. Stone Street Stitchworks was also having a Black Friday sale. Some of these shops are still on sale today. So it was like a weekend sale. So I bought Winterland Way because I love it and it's beautiful. And I don't think it would take that long to finish. I think it would stitch up pretty quick. And then I stumbled across this totally random shop I've never seen before. It's called Sugar Stitches and they were having a sale too. And this was so cute. I just couldn't, it doesn't go with any of my Christmas decor like at all but it's so girly and over the top cute. I had to have it. It's called, it's a marshmallow world. How cute you guys. I love the colors. I think I'm gonna stitch it and then keep it here. And I call this my girly room. It's basically my, my vanities in here. All my craft stuff is in here. It's my room, my closets in here. So I think I'm going to stitch this and it'll go in here for Christmas in my girly room because it doesn't really go with like the rest of the house. Um, I did download, this wasn't a new purchase, but the new Punch Needle and Primitive Stitcher, I have it, a digital subscription and the new one came out. So I downloaded that and there are some amazing patterns in here and I'm very excited. And I think maybe my favorite was by Kanicki's. It looks like that simple but I really like it there was there was a bunch of really cute designs I just was super drawn to that one um and then there was a oh this one's gorgeous <laughs> it's by Lindy Stitches she showed it on her floss tube she does a really good job with color so anyway so there was that what else do we have here Mm. I got some fabric. I couldn't tell myself. Okay, so first of all, here's the thing. Let's backtrack a second. I did get my color and cotton monthly subscription that I started. I'm not going to go, everybody's going to show you these, so, you know, I'm not going through them all, but those are nice functional colors, right? works for me. I could really, this one's called espresso. I could definitely see 
getting a lot of use out of that. It's almost like a hickory sticks. Um, okay, so then I got my ex Ju designed fabric of the month for October. She was a little late shipping it out and then I had a problem at the post office. Um, it's 36 count Edinburgh linen and I got hot, er, er, the color this month is hot cocoa. It's a nice brownish. It's almost like a picture this plus a, um, ale. Kind of like that nice dark brown. Her fabrics do not disappoint. They're always great. Um, I would not get 36 count again. I just, when I signed up for the three month subscription, I didn't know I got 36 count. I actually prefer about a 40 um, for her fabrics because one thread on 36, on her 36 is a little too thin for me, but two strands on 36 is too crowded. So, um, but on 40 count, it's perfect. And her fabrics are really nice. Um, that's just my personal preference. Um, she did send me this beautiful choice and some floss with her fabric of the month. And so I got it and it's actually two. And, um, this brown is a very nice, functional, nice looking brown. And then I, I don't really have an excuse. I went and bought a bunch of fabric from her. I don't know if she was having a sale or I just really needed like to buy some fabric. <laughs> so I went to her website and bought a bunch of fabric. Um, and it came in really fast. So I got 40 count bird cage. I got a big piece of that. This is a, this is a fat quarter, 19 by 27. It's bird cage. It's a darker brown. It's actually a little bit but not quite similar to the well no they're totally different tone I guess now that I look at them side by side seem like they were similar but they're really not um so I got that and then I got uh 40 count ash rose oh this is so pretty oh this is really pretty I'm just I'm not going to open all these up and unfold them um, and then I got a little piece of 40 count gold sand. So basically I wanted a bunch of her 40 count. That is gorgeous. And then I got a 46 count. I thought I would live dangerously and try a 46 count. And it's, it's pretty small. It's pretty small, but I think I can do it. And this is called Drapple Brown and it's so pretty. It is so pretty. Whoa, whoa, my camera cannot pick a color there. It's almost got a pinkish tone. I don't think it's really showing up though. But it's not as pink as Ash Rose. There, that's better. Nope. Yep. I don't know how much that's showing up for you guys, but it, it, zoomed, it honed in on the color and then it like totally changed. Um, and then she threw in another freebie thread called Dark Forest with my order. And that is very pretty. Okay. Then, Teresa Kitten Stitcher made me do this. Um, her last video, she showed that she'd gone to Bath and Body Works and gotten one of their three wick candles. And I love those candles. Those candles are phenomenal. I buy them all the time. Um, so I bought, I went and bought two because what she told me was... Or what she showed on her video was that the lid is freaking cross stitch. Oh yeah. And that's cool, but it wouldn't entice me to go buy a candle, but she was like make an ornament and then put it on the front and use the back as the finish. And I was like, yes, that is genius. And so I went and bought two candles. The other one's in the living room burning. Um, and then I bought this super cute little magnet. I never, I haven't been to Bath and Body Works in a long time. They sell these little like festive things that magnet to the top of your candle. And it was just really cute. And I bought it. It was like $3. Okay. And then um, a couple last few things. Um, today in the mail, I got this. Um, this is um, 
Country Samplers Cross Stitch Store in Spring Green, Wisconsin does um, this club. I think there's four or five that get sent out each just in a year. And this is the newest installment and it's called Sunflower Farm by Kathy Barrick. And being in this club, you get this exclusive pattern and it's fully kitted. This is Gentle Arts and some Weeks Dye Works fabric. So everything you need is right there. And um, you can call them and, and get this if you want it. Um, Jan Hicks had shown the last one and I called and they were like, yeah, we still have some, we'll send it out. So I was like, yep, and sign me up for the next ones too. <laughs> so that came today. I'm not, I don't have any immediate plans, but I'm very excited. And then the last little bit of my haul. This Dimension Sal with the Aurora Cabin um, kind of sent me down a rabbit hole. I started looking at other people's um, Dimensions projects and I have tossed around in my head a few times the idea of doing the dimension stockings for Christmas. I've seen a few and been like, that's beautiful. I should do that. And then I always go, no, <laughs> no, never mind. Because they're full coverage and they look like a ton of work. Full coverage stitching with back stitch and it's just, it's too much. It's too much. Um, so I always talk myself out of it, but then I, I, every time I see one, I'm like, I should really stitch a stocking for me and my boyfriend. So I'd need to stitch too. Um, and then I'm like, nah, no, it's too much. It's too much. And I finally was like, you know what? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. This is an heirloom that we will keep for probably decades. Um, but it is a lot of work. And so I think what I'm going to do is something like through the year, maybe like something I'm going to call like stocking Sunday or something like that, where every Sunday I'm going to pull out the stocking and work on it so that I could possibly have one done by Christmas. I think if I break it up like that, I won't get burnt out. I'll actually see some progress. We'll see how it goes. Um, so then I had to stock um, the dimension stockings for a week or two trying to pick which one was my favorite. I was immediately drawn to this one. It's called Santa's Flight. I love the colors. So that was like a definite. But then I was like, what about the other one? Well, let me tell you, there is one that I am absolutely head over heels in love with, but you can't get it. It's out of print or whatever. And the one or two I found are going for over $150. <laughs> I'm not paying that for a stocking kit. Um, so it's called, um, I can't even remember what it's called. It's something, it's like Magic Christmas Eve. It's something Christmas Eve. And it's um, a beautiful house all lit up for Christmas. And two boys with their dog and like an old farmer's truck. Um, it's called Coming Home. It's something Christmas Eve. I, I can't remember what it's called now. Anyway. I That's what I really, really want. I'm going to start on this one and just kind of keep my eyes peeled and kind of hope maybe I'll stumble across the, I think it's called Magic Christmas Eve. Maybe I'll, if, if any of you have it and you're just like, it's just sitting in my stash, you know, I'll be happy to buy it from you if any of you want to sell it to me for not $150. Um, anyway, so this one. And then, so I did pick a second one though. Um, you know, in this will probably take me a year or two to finish. So if I haven't found the other one I want by then, or if maybe a new one's going to come out next year that I'm going to love more than either of those. Um, but this is like my third choice. <laughs> so this is called Sleigh Ride at Dusk. And it is, it's beautiful. It is beautiful. I do want to stitch it. I just like the Christmas Eve one even more. Like I said, this is going to be probably a good two years before I'm done. And then I'll decide at that point if this is the one I still want. Okay, so that's it. So that's my plans um, a little bit coming up because I'm going to do um, stocking Sundays. So get get ready for that. Maybe you guys can hold me accountable for that. 
Um, and then of course, um, I was going to do a bunch of Christmas stitching, but then I started on that project for my sister. So, um, I'm going to take that to Mexico with me. I'm hoping I can finish it. I mean, it's a, I'm not deluding myself. It's, it's a lot of stitching. It's, I think it's like a hundred and five, no, 109 by 119 stitches and it's all full coverage. So it's a lot of stitching, but I think I, if I can devote some time in Mexico, like I could possibly finish that or get really close to a finish and then finish it quickly after I get home. So, um, once I do that, then I'm gonna, I'm back to Christmas stitching for sure. All right. So that's all I have for today. Look for, um, a stash or slash organizing video at some point if I can get my act together and um, look for a whip parade sometime soon too. All right. Thanks for watching guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.